What's good everybody and today's episode is going to be a cool one because I'm going back in time to when I actually started painting and learning how to do gradient shading. So I'm going to teach you this nice basic step and I would love for you to try it out. It's great even as an experienced artist to go back and just practice this step here. But this is especially made for a lot of my rookies out there so I hope you enjoy. All right, so as you can see, I've got my basic canvas right here. I've got my easel. Now you are more than welcome to lay that on a flat surface too. You definitely don't have to actually have it on an easel. Uh, what I do have is any old pen you can use. You can use a marker. You can also use these um, awesome painting brushes. These are really cool. Uh, but basically, this is great to draw with. It's got a sharp, fine tune. Um, tip to it so it's really easy to draw so what what we're gonna do is we're gonna start up in this top corner here and I'm just gonna draw this wavy line and with that you can start to see this is gonna become a ribbon now I'm gonna go ahead and make a line come right here and I'm gonna make a line come right down here so on each of these nice little edges here I am making a little bit of this nice lines just connecting so you can see I'm just very nice and easy just making this awesome looking ribbon start to appear I'll take a look at that so you can see there's an S for Sean but it is a ribbon and it is gonna help us out with our highlights and our lowlights so let's go ahead and get started so for today's paint we're gonna be just using two different colors blue and white. As you can see, I've got them on my plate. And the brush I'm going to be using is a flat brush. So I want you to find a brush that's comfortable for you. This one is a medium sized brush. You can also switch over to some smaller flat brushes. Here's another size you can see. Um, I, whatever you have, it's going to work just fine. You can even use these little edge brushes right here too. So let's go ahead and practice because it is a little bit small and we do want to make some good lines right there. So I'm going to use that maybe that medium size brush right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this blue. I'm going to put a little bit of blue on this brush. So you can see I'm using acrylic paint. Again, I kind of go over that with a lot of my other videos. Now, as you come over here, this is just one S of a ribbon. And as you can see, there are some different areas to where we can use some of this paint. And I'm gonna go ahead right here in this curve right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of that blue. It's just plain blue. And it is a real pretty vibrant color. Now, while I've got this blue, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more on my brush and I'm gonna come here in this corner and just kind of just come up right up here on this line and bring some of this nice blue paint out this way. You're gonna start seeing a little bit more of a depth thing going on here soon. All right, I wanna kind of stay in that line right there. It's a great, great exercise. It just gets you used to some of this paint. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead right here and just add a little bit of blue right here where it's curving in a little, right where it curves up right there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that blue. Now I'm running out of on my brush, so I just put a little bit more on. And voila. Now, what I want to do is lighten it up a little bit. By doing that, you just add your highlighting color, which is plain white, into your blue, making a powdery light blue. Just add a little bit. And we're going to just come right here. And this is a great way to test your paint. You want to just test it and see how much highlight, how much white you want to use, how much you don't want to use. And as you can see, I used very little white. So it's great just to try those edges first and just see what happens. So what I'm going to do is the opposite. I'm going to bring some of this blue into this nice big pile of white and look at that lighten up quite a bit. So I'm just doing the opposite and putting blue into white. 
just a little bit of blue. Now I'm gonna come up here and you can see an obvious difference, that powdery light blue. And I'm gonna bring it into that little shadowing of plain blue. And this is how you start to practice your gradient, your blending technique, especially with an acrylic paint. Because acrylic paints usually dry pretty quick. They aren't as good as oils when it comes to blending. But you can do some amazing stuff with acrylic paint and it's very user friendly, very, very user friendly. All right, so you can see we've got some value of our darker blue coming to lighter and so on. Now really what I wanna do is add just plain white now on this brush. It still has some of that powdery light blue, but I'm gonna make it very minimal. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just bring in some of this light on the end here and then bring it into the blue a little bit. And now you can see a really fun gradient effect just starting to happen. And this is a great way to practice your just single color. You don't have to go crazy. You can just use one color, try red. You can try yellow. That's a, that's a tough one because it's already so bright. But I would give it a whirl and just use a little bit of paint at a time. You don't need a ton. And as you can see, I'm just very lightly touching the canvas and letting the paint do the work. Let it blend itself. It's still wet enough to where it's gonna, you know, still have that good blending technique because we have it, we've done this so quick. Look at that, fun. And you can just practice. That's all it takes is just trying it, giving it a whirl and see what you can do. But there is a fun way to make a ribbon, a great way to practice your gradient technique. Okay, there it is, that's it. That's an easy one. A good way to practice blending, trying to make it darker to lighter in different areas. So have fun making your ribbons and we'll see you on the next episode.